the nanny one-year-old enjoyed tea with the Women's Institute during power cut. Women had to use iPhones and torches to light up the dark room. The Queen made her annual visit to the Sandringham branch of the WI. Meanwhile, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle made the trip to Cardiff. The Queen was smiling and laughing as she had a cup of tea with the Sandringham branch of the Women's Institute in the dark today, after the storm left the village hall with no power. Her Majesty continued her annual visit to the WI branch at West Newton Village Hall in Norfolk, despite the power cut, which meant there was no heating with lighting. The Queen, dressed in a pink coat, joked that she was struggling to see the WI members in the dark village hall, while some of the women used their iPhone torches to light up the room. The ladies all enjoyed cake and tea, despite the freezing temperatures in the village hall, whilst they listened to a speech by guest speaker, BBC reporter, Susie Fowler-Watt. The Queen later managed to sign the visitor's book in the dark as the WI members struggled to pack up the cakes by torchlight. Yvonne Brown, chairwoman of the Sandringham branch of the Women's Institute, said, ''You could say it has been very interesting. This morning the power went off at 06.11 m and all through the morning we had information it would be on in an hour, so I took the decision we would go ahead regardless. I had calls with the House and the Queen's private secretary said yes if we were happy to go ahead, then they were happy to go ahead. So Her Majesty valiantly came along to the WI this afternoon with no heating and no lighting and we were supplied with urns of water by the police to make the tea so we were actually able to provide everyone with a cup of tea. The Queen came in and she was laughing and smiling with everybody and making remarks on the fact she couldn't really see us because it was even darker in the hall than it was outside. We've had a really lovely afternoon despite no heat or light. The Queen has attended the WI Group's meetings since 1943 and took over as president from the Queen Mother, who in turn took over from Queen Mary. The local school was closed at lunchtime because there was no electricity. Each year she visits the WI branch at West Newton Village Hall in Norfolk and this time she was joined by guest speaker, BBC reporter, Susie Fowler-Watt. The Queen has attended the WI Group's meetings since 1943 and took over as president from the Queen Mother, who in turn took over from Queen Mary. In 1965, to celebrate the WI Golden Jubilee, there was a garden party at Buckingham Palace by gracious invitation of the Queen for a member from every WI in the country. While the Queen enjoyed a day in Norfolk, Royal bride-to-be Meghan Markle and Prince Harry arrived in the Welsh capital to a tumultuous welcome from fans, but delays to the GWR train meant they arrived at the Welsh capital late for their third public engagement as a couple. Besotted Harry, 33, has made a promise to his bride-to-be to undertake visits across the UK. Before their wedding, to give the actress a chance to see the country she will come to call home and meet its people. Viewers recently praised the Queen's reaction after she was told the crown jewels were hidden in a biscuit tin 60 feet underneath Windsor Castle to keep them safe from the Nazis. The nanny one-year-old was speaking with royal commentator Alastair Bruce for a special one-hour program to mark the 65th anniversary of her coronation. He that a librarian removed the stones out of the jewels and placed them into a Bath Oliver biscuit tin before hiding them in Berkshire. But the Queen seemed unimpressed by the news and simply said, HMM, did he remember where he put them? He might have died in the middle. Her reaction was noted by people watching the coronation on BBC One and one viewer said, you need better stories tea.